pivoting is important to transcending, right? We need to be able to pivot and not know or not perceive that everything's going to happen in every season the same way. Like we need to be able to grow and that leads us to transcendence. That leads us to a high level of thinking and a better way of being because each season will require something different. There'll be a new challenge before us. And also our demographic is changing, you know, as one expands or the uh, exposure that you have, you know, goes further. Um, then you need to be able to pivot. You need to be able to review what's working and what's not and constantly ask yourself where it is that your energy should go to. And as you do that, you begin to see that, you know, you become clear or more clear as you go that, you know, you're always going to hold on to the values and beliefs you have. No one's going to take those away from you. Um, but as you share that mission, as you pursue the mission on your heart and the vision that you have, that doesn't change. It's just how you put it out there change, how you communicate to other people changes, how you serve people changes. And so, um, yeah, I think it's really important not to be afraid of that pivot or that review, a constant looking back. It's like when you have done a recording and you look back on the recording and you think, how could I make that better? What are the things that I could improve on? What are the aspects of the visual that or the audio that I can improve on? What are the tools that I might need to do this a little better or more efficiently? How can I automate it, right? And the whole aim is that you want to make it obviously sustainable, but you want to make it better you want to be able to serve more people and to be able to speak to more people and to help more people right release more people into their destiny and so pivoting i think is really vital to when when you start that journey to to know that it's okay to change your mind it's okay to change the uh, trajectory of your business or if it's your career right it's okay to ask well how else can i pull myself out there in terms of sharing my vision and my skills and my uh, calling um and i think it's important to always review if i've started with this one thing like a podcast is it working for me or you know do i need to be writing a book or whatever it is but just being open to the possibilities that can show up and lead you into evolving not only yourself but evolving what this calling looks like on your life and um it is so tough initially to take that step it's so tough to take risk after risk and not know if it's going to pay off and then you have to you know we see a lot of the greats that have to deal with disappointment you have to deal with disappointment you also know you also need to know how to leave disappointment behind right you're going to have discouragement you're going to have all these things that will let you down like friends family people that don't believe in you and you have just got to be your greatest cheerleader and i think that's what i'm learning too is just to be my cheerleader to be mm. conscious of where i've come to how much i have grown and stay confidently in who i am today rather than who i was yesterday and what it is that i did you know years prior but just being proud of who i am and i think as we begin i i think that when it comes to evolving and really seeking your purpose and your destiny start with yourself really ask yourself of where am i at what were the struggles what are the things that i value and believe in um and really know those well and from that you will always have this sense of direction as to what and how you're going to show up in the world because if i know my values and my beliefs then i know what i stand for and i know what i will not tolerate um, and so I gain the confidence to then speak up to that and to say, no, that's not going to work for me. Um, to gain the confidence to know the things that I need to say yes to and the things that I need to say no to. Um, yeah. And just staying focused on that trajectory, I think is really key. Yeah. 